Hello everyone, I'm Rainy Suarez, aka Silver Quote. Today we're back with another amazing reaction. This time we react to some Ralphie May uh, from his comedy special Too Big to Ignore, The 97 Salad. Now, I love me to Ralphie May because he always someone he 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 doesn't care. He he just he doesn't pander to nobody. He just is who he is. Sadly, he passed away back in uh, 2017, but. Always again, always love me so Ralph and May. So y'all vote is the most second uh, person to vote. I did just got done rack to some Patrice O'Neill, so that should be in, been dropped by on on Saturday. So anyway, if you like any any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will leave the original link to to this video down below in the description. You can watch it uninterrupted. Also link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow me on those social platforms. Ooh, excuse me. Also been wrecked to murder drones. Uh, I will leave that link down below so you go check that out uninterrupted when it comes to my reactions. Leave those reactions on the playlist down below. Uh, <clears throat> also link to my uh, cash shop. If you feel gracious enough to donate five, ten, fifteen dollars, that's fine. You know, that's fine as well. But further you buckle up and let's get All started. All right, we're here with some Ralphie May. Too big to ignore. Nine ninety-seven dollars uh, salad. Let's go. <laughs> Latinos, y'all are under assault everywhere I go. I was in Arizona, and the white people there have invented a law where they're pulling people over for driving Mexican, okay? Jesus. I swear to God, all right? If you've got 49 people in your car, good luck going through Phoenix, Jack. Good luck. <laughs> You're going to need it. Everybody gets pulled over. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sarge, we got an 84 Chevy Silverado, blue on blue, with three lawnmowers in the back. Pull that son of a bitch over. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Damn. <laughs> and I remember that law because at the end of the day, I think that was what, back in 2010, I remember correctly, uh, 2010 or, or, or 09, that was, it was weird, and I'm like, it didn't, it didn't make any sense. I told all my friends in Arizona, I don't care if you're white, black, or brown, don't leave home without your wallet in Arizona. Well, you're trying to explain how you ain't Mexican. You'll be eating a dry bologna sandwich on a bus ride down to Mexicali. Go, Mexi uh, I swear to God, my name's Brandon. <laughs> I was just mowing my own yard. Yeah, what happened? I don't even speak Spanish. Look, none of my teeth are silver or baby size. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the people who made this law up have really thought it all out, you know? Think of That's how it normally goes. Sometimes people don't think about uh, a law, how it will affect others until it's way after. And I'm like, these are the reason why we test these laws sometimes. But at the same time, like, dude, if this sounds dumb... And everybody else telling you it sounds dumb, and you still went with it anyway, expecting a good result, and instead of you know, getting a dumb result, you should have listened to the dumb instincts. Like, now this is going to work. All right, folks, if we get rid of all the Mexicans, not for nothing, how are we going to move? <laughs> Damn. Everybody I know uses Mexicans. White people, black people, Mexicans use Mexicans, okay? Yeah. I'm not talking about well-nourished American Mexicans with good bone structure and proper nutrition. I'm talking about those little mojados, those ones that sneak over the border that you get at the Home Depot, three for $50 or for $100, 12 of them will show up and uh, with three old ladies and a boiler and two tears, okay? Two tears. It takes them 17 minutes, 17 <laughs> minutes, and they move all your stuff out of the house onto one pickup truck, one, in an upside down pyramid, they stack it, it's incredible, <laughs> amazing engineering, amazing, no rope, no rope, no rope, they just throw the littlest Mexican up on top and he holds down two mattresses and a coffee table, it's incredible, <laughs> for that 17 minutes your whole house looks like that movie Apocalypto, oh. <laughs> Little Aztec Indians jumping around, popping up. One of them is praying to catch a koala in the corner. Go, yeah, catch a koala, caca. Right. And as soon as they're done, here come the three old ladies sweeping, mopping, dusting, washing everything down with that uh, purple water, that Fabuloso or something like that. I don't know. That ain't <laughs> Fabuloso. <laughs> hey, man, it does work. I, I use it to clean, too. I'm like, God damn, I end up scrubbing down my floor like... 
Like, I use it when I'm mopping everything, too. Oh, speaking span, literally. From America, that stuff is bona fide. That gets off third world dirt. Like, you got a, you got a cholera outbreak. You get that Fabuloso, Jack. That stuff cleans everything, son. It, like, punks out Mr. Clean like he's a bitch, okay? <laughs> that Fabuloso is the real deal. Argo de Fantasimo, boy. I call it ghost water. All right, because that's what it does. It, it just, it's a metal strip paint, man. If you let it set on there too long, and these old ladies are cleaning everything, you're standing in the former shell of your house going, why are we moving? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it was our crap that was messing this house up. <sighs> Mexicans are amazingly clean. It's funny, when I did that joke, I was telling this joke, and, and you know, I, I tell people that's where the term spick and span comes from. Spick and, and span. Uh, <laughs> look it up. <laughs> look it up. Because Mexicans are so clean. See? See, at first you think it's going to be a racial slur. Then it turns out to be a racial compliment. Now who's prejudiced? <laughs> <laughs> I love Mexicans. I was doing this joke in Orange County, California about a month and a half ago. And when I did it, uh, a white lady stood up and said, we have to get rid of all those Mexicans. They're ruining our country. And I was. The weird part is we still hear that same crap now due to the fact that a lot of people want, want him saying, oh, uh, uh, Mexican uh, ruining this or black people are ruining that. I'm like, are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Well, the statistic I found, like, okay, have you done other research besides that, uh, you know, statistic? And who have you met? And and these come from the people who I never really have a conversation with people like myself or anything. Because you never know what another person knows. And no one wants it because they think, oh, that's too risky, among other things. I'm like, just have a conversation, you know? Not all black people do this. Not all Hispanic people do that. But, like, bro, not all people, like, just not all people not racist. Like, calm down. Jesus. Just amazed at her racism, you know? And it's weird coming from somebody from the South, you know? You'd expect I'd have heard outbursts like that before in my life. But in the South, you know, I mean, I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, raised up in a little town in Arkansas called Clarksville, and moved to Texas when I was 18. I mean, I'm, I'm Southern as it gets, okay? And I've never heard racial bile spilled like this. At least in the South, we have the good graces and the decorum to whisper our racial slurs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know this about me but i grew up uh spending my summers in a little town even smaller than my hometown in south arkansas called delight okay and it's where my grandfather ad may had his farm and it was a beef cattle farm and in his older age it didn't have that big a herd but he thought that the neighbors were taking cattle and replacing the tags and so he went back to brandon old school brandon and my brother, being nearly six years my senior, had no problem flipping this cattle on their ass, and my grandfather, hold, you know, he hold them down and lay that brand on them. Me, I was a dumpy 11-year-old that I held on. That's all I did, okay? I held on, and hopefully the cow would trip over my uh, dumpy ass, okay, and fall back down. Right? But that day was a hard day for me. I got beat up by cattle, okay? I mean, beat the hell, drug through cow flop. Ew. Hot, hot cow crap. I mean, hot, hot. Way warm. Well, you think cold is bad? Cold's not nearly as bad as hot. Hot is way worse. Pee, everything, and got kicked in the goddamn head I don't know how many times. <laughs> All right. By the way, after a day like that, when your grandfather has to hose you off in the yard before you can even come into the house, okay? All right? Nothing tastes better than a cheeseburger because you're angry as hell. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right? But my grandfather taught me how to drag them down. What you got to do is let them run past you a little bit and then grab the, either on their ear or the little nubbin horn and push down. And when that turns their head, you pull their head up like this and, and they either have the choice of getting their neck broke or going with you. And their own momentum, if you just fall back, 
will sling you up on them and they'll be laying there on the ground. <laughs> and that's what I had to do to that lady. <laughs> to uh, let that bitch run past me a little bit, then snatch her ass up. So I was like, ma'am, I'm with you. Let's, let's get rid of them Mexicans. I'll buy the gas for the bus, just as soon as you can tell me who's going to pick our fruits and vegetables. She goes, excuse me? Uh, well, ma'am, see, 99% of our produce comes to market through Latino hands. Without them, uh, we have no fruits or vegetables in our grocery stores. Which is true but saying i'll say say this like the don't believe the whole idea of the uh the freaking commercials oh, oh everyone pick no 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 i know who the workers is i know who the work evil i'm hearing from distance i'm like dude i know like don't f fool me with the freaking um commercials we all pick here no not mine, I get mine at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> you are adorable. Okay, listen, dummy. Um, they might have hippies out front at the Whole Foods, but everybody doing the real work are the Mexicans out back, okay? But you're right, ma'am, all the Mexicans at Whole Foods are 100% organic, and that's what matters. <laughs> so. <laughs> I never been, here's the thing, I still have never been to Whole Foods. There's plenty of Whole Foods around here. Too. I still have not been. Then, then this racist was like, we'll get a machine to do it. And I'm like, well, ma'am, you know, not for nothing, for all of our technology, our satellite phones and TVs and everything, we've never been able to vent a machine that knows which tomato to pick and which one to leave hanging, which <laughs> grape to cut, which one to leave <laughs> on the vine. The machine we invented was Mexicans. <laughs> and they're perfect. They're generally shorter. Uh, they have, uh, there's generally shorter stature. That means they have less. Okay, all right, because I <laughs> okay. feel it already. People go, that's a dick move, Ralphie. All right, okay, all right, watch. Okay, um, I am five foot nine and a half, okay? Average American male height is five foot eight inches, okay? Watch as I attempt to pick low lying fruits and vegetables, okay? Watch. <laughs> See, I had to bring my back to a nearly 90 degree angle. Over the course of the day, that would make for extreme amounts of lower back pain and fatigue, making me A, a very poor employee, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, watch as the average Mexican national attempts the same thing. <laughs> Perfect sense, right? Perfect sense. They're awesome. Then she goes, we'll get white people to do it. And I'm like, ma'am, why do you think the Mexicans are here now? Because we can't get white people to do it, okay? But let's just go with your premise, okay? <laughs> First of all, are you native Californians? She goes, yes, I am, okay. And is that your son with you? Yes, it is. And I'm like, well, ma'am, that boy is allergic to work, okay? He's never had to work hard, okay? Uh, with his little cool little Justin Bieber haircut and his <laughs> flip-flops and his skate park pass. He's adorable, but... He's never really worked, okay? He doesn't know hard work, okay? Hard physical labor. He lasts mm. an hour working like a Mexican, okay? If you could even get him out there to do it. You know, he's too busy doing this. <laughs> okay. All right? That boy's allergic to work, okay? That's all you can say. It's the truth, all right? Plus, you've never known a time without Mexican labor. This is California. A ton of people. California was chock full of Mexicans back when it was called Mexico, okay? <laughs> That's something we all forget, is that there's a lot of Mexicans that never crossed the border. The border crossed them. Like, for real. Like, and here's the thing, when people say they need to go back to their country and stuff like that, I'm like, are you sure you're taking this? This was part of Mexico. You do know that, right? And you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people, grown people, like in their 40s and 50s, that don't know that. I'm like, yeah good half of the country used to be part of Mexico. And it blows a lot of people's mind. Like, some of y'all need to go back to school and study ge uh, geography, like, for real, and history. Because how y'all miss this is beyond me. Right? They're like, 
I guess we stay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, ma'am, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, you're just dumb, okay? You, okay, let's say we could get white people to do it. What would it cost you? $30 an hour to get white people to work like Mexicans? Probably more. And then there's other costs along with it, like free sunblock. How much money are you going to spend in sunblock with white people? You get somebody as pale as me or this fat guy or that white dude, okay, out there in the field with that much direct light, we'll blow up, okay? <laughs> Boom! What happened to Bob? He wasn't wearing his damn SPFs. That's what happened to Bob. Change the signs. Zero days since last accident. Look, you sons of bitches. You either wear your sunblock or you come out here in a beekeeper outfit, okay? I'm not gonna have OSHA crawl out my ass for this crap because you sons of bitches won't wear your goddamn sunblock. You hear me? Plus, white people are lazy. White people, we invented the three-day weekend. That's how lazy we are. <laughs> it's the truth. Nobody wants to admit it. How white people are, no, we're not lazy. Ah, come on, stop. Really? Okay, President's Day? Really? Does anyone sit around and wonder about the Taft administration on President's Day? No. No. No, <laughs> Memorial Day. Mexicans don't know about, about Memorial Day. That's a Monday to a Mexican. That's a work day. We got to work on Monday, make money. For real. All right? Uh, Labor Day is the biggest crock of crap all of all time. Okay, in honor of everyone that's working, we're not going to. Which is insane because, dude, I work in security, guys. I'm still at work on Labor Day. I'm still on work on Memorial Day. Hell, Hell, I am still working on Christmas, New Year's, and all the other stuff. What, bro? When does it end? When can I take a break? Come on. You see what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. And 4th of July, that's just between the 3rd and the 5th of July for Mexican, okay? All right, one day for Mexicans, Cinco de Mayo. You better have cold beer on May 5th. Yeah. But that's one day as opposed to 23 for white people. That's nearly a full month of added productivity you're going to get out of a Mexican national that you can never get out of a white American. Do you understand? Okay, let's put it in basic terms. If white people pick your fruits and vegetables, your salad's going to cost $97. <laughs> Damn. You want a cheeseburger? $350. You want pickles on it? $12. Bucks. Damn. Are those magic pickles? What the hell is going on? <laughs> and then this white lady goes, I guess we'll get somebody else. And I'm like, who, ma'am? Who? Who? I, I don't know. I guess black people. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Oh, no. No. <laughs> I see some black guys about to stand up. Hold on, playboys. I got this. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay. I was like... Ma'am, if you think you're getting black people back in the same fields they got out of 150 years ago, you are smoking crack, okay? I hate to break it to you, but you can't get a black man to go into a big backyard and pick a movie, much less a fruit or a vegetable. Am I lying or am I dying? You retarded. You are dumb. Just dumb. I ain't picking sh Shiza. <laughs> oh, man. I miss the big guy. I mean, would y'all like me to rock to some more Ralph and May? Let me know in the comments down below. Because, dude, it, I miss the guy, the big, dark, not simply just dark, funny human, just risky, very risky humor that probably won't go as much as of today. But at the same time, like, people need this. But it sucks that he passed away, you know, but the dude was very funny, like very funny. But that being said, if you like any, any of this content, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I will leave the link to this video down below in the description so you can watch it uninterrupted. Also, a link to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok so you can follow me on those social platforms. Uh, i also leave my uh, playlist link to Murder Drone since I have been reacting to it. And also a link to my Cash App if you feel gracious enough to donate. Five, ten, fifteen dollars. That's fine. If you don't, that's fine as well. Also, let me know in the comments down below. Would y'all like me to react to some more Ralphie May? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but that being said, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Stay warm. And peace out. And little questions is everything they know about you.